welcome to another week of Tinker Time activities from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and this week, um, all week on our social media, we are celebrating Earth Day. So all of our activities for Tinker Time this week are um, upcycled or recycled using things that you already probably have in your household recycling bin. Um, so uh, before I get started, I want to thank our Earth Day week programming sponsor, which is Dia Frichard. Thank you so much for making these uh, videos possible. So our first upcycle project is our sensory project. And this one this week, we're going to be making a boat and then playing with it in the water. Fun, sensory. So the things that you need for this project are some corks and a straw or um, a popsicle stick or something and a little piece of card, kind of the paperboard, like this one is from a butter box or like a Cheez-Its box or something, some kind of paperboard. And then either rubber bands or I didn't have rubber bands, so these are hair elastics. So to make your boat, you're going to take your uh, corks, put them all in a line like that, and you're gonna rubber band them together so they kind of look like a little a little raft. So we're gonna do two of those so it's nice and secure. So it's like that. Then you are going to take your straw and wiggle it in between two of those corks. And then you can have little ones decorate their sail or I thought mine was kind of cute with the cow on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a cow sailboat and you wanna cut some little um, slits in it like this so that you can just put it right on um, your straw and make your sailboat. And then you can put your sailboat in the water and watch it float. So <laughs> this is a fun one. Um, you can blow on it too to make it move. And of course you will end up splashing and having fun in the water, which is where our sensory element of this activity comes in. So that is your upcycled boat activity for this week. And you can try that. Hopefully you have some of those things at home. And moving on to our building activity. This one is something I'm sure you have at home. What I did for this one is I cut up an egg carton into these little sections. And I then colored them. You could color them or paint them, which might be kind of fun. And it was kind of a unique, actually sensory experience to color an egg carton instead of just paper. So you can color a whole bunch of these or paint them. And then they are fun for building. So you can do like a little pyramid. You could make little bridges with these. Um, you could hide things under them, move them around. <laughs> um, and you could make as many of these as you wanted. I just did a few to give you an example. So that is some upcycled building using egg cartons that you can try this week. And let's see what's next. Ah, for art exploration this week, we are making an upcycled banjo. So all you need for this is a jar lid. Any kind of jar lid is fine. I like ones that are a little bit on the bigger side, not a little tiny one. And then again, some kind of elastic. I don't know why we have no rubber bands in our house, um, but I used hair elastics again. And you wanna put a few of these on. And different size um, elastics will make different sounds. Mine are kind of they're all exactly the same size, um, but it'll still kind of make a cool sound. So you can put those on. That'll be fun to listen to all week. <laughs> and then uh, what you can do once you have as many strings as you want is find something to make the handle of your banjo. This could be a paint stirrer, it could be a craft stick. Um, I just took another piece of that egg carton and I'm that's what I'm going to use. And we're going to tape it on the back. And your art exploration can come from decorating the um, this part of your banjo. Or you could um, also put some stickers and some cool stuff 
on your banjo as well, so. Totally rocking. <laughs> this is your um, upcycled art activity this week. You can make your own little banjo. It sounds great. It sounds really nice. Um, and lastly, this is a really fun one for the sorting activity this week. This is actually starts with a sorting activity and ends with a, another really fun art project. So this is making crayons. Eventually, you're going to make these crayons. But first, you're going to invite little ones to sort some crayons by color. So you wanna put them in a muffin tin that you've put these little muffin tin liners in. You could also um, use silicone molds. I know a lot of people have those. So you, those are fine to use as well. So you're gonna sort crayons until they're, um, I would want a few more, but until they're about halfway filled in this muffin tin. If you have a mini muffin tin, obviously you won't need as many. And once you've sorted all your colors, then you can stick these in the oven at 250 degrees. Mine took about 12 minutes. I set it for 10 and then I just kept going back and checking because you don't want them to burn. And then you take them out of the oven. It'll be totally liquefied, totally moving around in there and put it down on the counter, let it cool. It does not take long to cool. I think mine took about 10 minutes to be completely cool. And then you get these really cool um, crayons, these uh, kind of muffin tin crayons once you peel the wrappers off. And these are really fun. You can um, color and stuff with these and just make sure nobody takes a bite out of them because it does look kind of tempting. So that, those are our um, Upcycle Earth Day Week activities for Tinker Time. We hope you have an awesome time exploring some of these. If you take pictures or videos, please tag us. Let us know. We'd love to see how you're using these activities at home. And happy Earth Day. I will see you again soon.